how to make everything, my goal is to attempt to make ordinary items from scratch. But one thing I haven't tried to do is to make the tools necessary for making these items. But on this episode, I'm going to try and take things one step further and make all of my own tools. But what makes it so hard is that in order to make a tool, you first have to make the tools to make that tool. And, well, you'll see. My name is Andy George, and like most people, I have no idea where the stuff I use every day actually comes from. Thanks to modern transportation, a web of industries have built up to provide us with everything we need. But what if that network didn't exist and we had to do everything ourselves? My mission is to collect the raw materials and transform them into the final products we use every day, doing every step myself personally. This is How to Make Everything. While a handful of animals employ simple tools, tools are the cornerstone of humanity's success and ascension to the primary species of this planet. Every device and mechanism we use today is a result of millions of years of tools being used to make better tools, starting from the simple spear to a modern airplane. My aim for this episode is to start from nothing, like we did three million years ago, and make a modern hammer. But of course, to make this hammer, there's a whole collection of other tools I'll be forced to make along the way. But before I can get started, I'll need to take a crash course on tool making and learn three million years of human innovation in just a couple days. Well, I don't have any time to waste. Perhaps one of humanity's earliest tools was fire. Mastered possibly as early as one million years ago, it allowed humans to cook food and provide light and protection at night. The control of fire was one of humanity's earliest and most crucial tools to learn. I'm here with Paul, a Boy Scout, who's gonna teach me how to get started on making fire. You basically just run this back and forth and it will eventually char some of this up. And you add it to like your nest mm -hmm. and blow on it until it's just on fire, then add more. There's another friction way where you can take a string and you'd make like a bow like. Uh -huh. And you put it in, twist it, and then for this you need, you really, it's easy here if you have two people, mm -hmm. but you need something to hold the top. And then when you're doing this, it will turn. Another easier way without the bow mm -hmm. is we can take a little more of this. And we both can take turns going like this. Okay. Now you grab on and keep going. Have you been able to do it with a drill before? Um, I haven't, but I've seen other Boy Scouts do it. We can do the flint. That works really well. Like that. And that will burn for a while, so you can start getting your actual sticks going. So if you want to do it all, you can take the knife and scrape that. There you go. You can just kind of push it in. I think we have fire. So now that you've built a fire, you can have your fireman chit. Yeah. It's kind of like a driver's license, but for fire. All right, so we got fire built, thanks to the expert guidance of Paul. I've learned some really good uh, fire building techniques and skills. And next up, I'll be learning how to do flint napping to make my own flint tools. <laughs> 